there how are you today today's pick a card love reading is going to focus on messages about your next boyfriend and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use um the wild unknown my little mini deck here i'm going to give it a good shuffle and then i'm going to divide it into three and those piles are um, what I'm going to use to pull your cards in your reading for today about your next boyfriend. So I wanted you to just kind of feel the energy, see which you're drawn to. If you can't decide, as always, with pick a card readings, you can um, listen to as many or as few as you'd like. Okay, so totally no rules. Okay, so let's go and see what messages we have today for you about your next boyfriend. Okay, so there are the three piles. And just to give you a little bit more, I'm going to add a heart to each. So group number one, you're going to be the red heart. Group number two, you're the pink heart. And group number three, you're the white heart, okay? Since it's Valentine's month, and obviously I am obsessed with love as the love goddess, um, I want to add hearts whenever I can. Okay, so take a moment. Listen to all three if you can't decide. Um, always know that these messages are general, so what really works for you, what you are really connecting with is the energy that you should keep. Leave the rest, okay? So not all messages will be for everyone. Let's get going. One, two, three. Which one are you going to pick? I'll see you in a minute. Hey, number one, you were drawn to the first pile. So I'm going to move these two over while we do our reading today for you about messages about your next boyfriend. Okay, so I'm just going to go right from the top of the pile. We have the two of pentacles. The ten of swords. The Three of Pentacles, beautiful. The Six of Cups. The Seven of Wands, and that's reversed under that Ten of Swords. And the Four of Wands, and that's reversed, okay. So, I'm going to start with messages about this person and where they have been in terms of love. Okay, so we're going to look over here. Um, what I see about this person is that I'm just feeling that they're very, they're very sentimental. They have a lot of, a lot of connections and past connections with love. I feel like this is someone who's had strong romances or strong love energy in their past. Um, this is someone who really wanted a balanced connection, but I don't feel like they had it. Um, this person is coming through with a lot of pentacle energy. Now, this could be you because you could have been drawn to this pile because, you know, sometimes we're drawn to messages about ourselves. And if that's happening, absolutely, um, you know, you can listen to the rest of it and um, see how this applies to you. Or you could even listen to another one of the piles. But um, what I'm seeing here is someone who has very strong love energy, someone who's very romantic, who um, thinks about the past a lot, who reminisces a lot, who's connected to their family, and someone who could have uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn placements, okay? Um, what I see right now for this person is that they are really releasing Okay, they are in the process of letting go of the past, of letting go of these old cycles that they have been really attached to. Now, this could mean that they're letting go of a relationship, or it could just be they're letting go and moving on from a painful 
kind of like history, you know, sometimes when we're like, okay, I'm closing the chapter, I'm like starting a new book here, or starting a new chapter or ending that, you know, like I'm ready to turn the page, all these things keep coming through about a book. And I don't know why. So if you if that resonates with you in some way, um, but what I see for this person and look at this, this is a bull with all of those swords. So this could be Taurus energy, as I said, an earth sign person um, who's letting go, who's ready to move on from the past and drop their defenses and um, let go of those old sort of hopes and those old wishes. Okay, so I really feel like this person right now is in a big moment when it comes to being releasing and being ready for a new relationship okay they have a lot of earth in them and in their chart whether that's Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I'm leaning towards Taurus but this is someone who's very practical I also think that you could meet or work together meet through work or work together Okay, um, because what I see coming in the future here is um, it's almost like they're supposed to go to an event, they're supposed to go to a party, or you were supposed to go to an event, and it's like you may have missed them once in the past or missed each other once, and you're going to connect at work and say, oh, yeah, I was supposed to go to that, or oh, yeah, I was going to go. <laughs> You're like, um, I also think this person could even be like, have been engaged and ending an engagement or moving on from a relationship that is um is done it's over they're letting go of all of that um and they're starting new because this is this really is giving me this idea that this person's building a new team around them okay um they are ready to move forward they're ready to move up um the number three is here it could be a march connection it could be a month from now if this is you know this is timeless so whenever you're watching it I do think it could be a month from now that you connect with this person um, and it could happen because you're letting go of plans or because of something that canceled and like or maybe you say oh I'm not going to go to that party but because I have to work and then you end up meeting it's like one of those things it's almost like this would generally be really really positive but it's like it turns out to be positive. It turns out that because this ended, this party, this celebration, or this ceremony, or this plans that you had, or that they had, you two end up meeting. And there could be a connection with a friend introducing you, or three people being there at the time that you connect. It doesn't feel like you connect with this person, um, like because of, online dating or anything like that it feels more organic and it feels like it's connected to something very like structured like work okay so that's what's coming through initially and let's get some more details about this person okay so ah crow spirit co-create with spirit Ooh. Okay, so the 17th could be a big day for you. Um, I'm also feeling that it's like co-creating with spirit. It's almost like there's divine timing. It's what I was talking about over here. It's this idea that something that seems like it's not great turns out to be great and like make the best of a situation. Um, Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. Yeah, this person right now is in that in-between state, okay? As I said, the Ten of Swords releasing, letting go of really old karma, of old relationship stuff, ready to stand up and move on. You're right in between that right now, which is what I was feeling, that this person could be a month away, like a really close um you know, a close amount, a small amount of time. It's like right now is the in between, but it's like, there's part of it that, you know, you've got to, you have to be part of, which is like seeing an opportunity. That's the message that's coming in. Watch and wait. 
So for some of you, I feel like this could be someone that you've had a connection with or have been thinking about dating or maybe you're watching maybe you're watching this person go through something or um, you're aware of their you know other relationship or situation that's keeping them from you and you have to kind of live in that in-between space and trust trust in the process okay um Watch and wait always makes me think of someone that is in your environment. So I do think this person is close by. As I said, could you could work together if you're the Taurus or they're the Taurus. Um, this is an energy of work. And um, there's just this energy of the right timing. The right timing. But yeah, I do think this person is close by. I think this person is very nurturing as well. Um, and that's where all of this, this deep sentimentality and these roots and this, this sense of caring. So it's been hard for this person to move on from this other relationship. Um, but they're in the process of doing it because this is the present right here. So we are in between. We're in between states. Um, so waiting and watching and just knowing that this moment is going to come, this opportunity, and take it. Okay? Now, what is this person feeling right now? about love where are they at right now emotionally okay so <laughs> they're getting a lot of energy okay there's a lot going on in their lives right now um and i think it could really they could be throwing themselves into work we're starting with the two of pentacles and then we have the three of pentacles so i think this person's really busy they're trying to stay busy i want to see How will you feel when you meet this person? How will you feel when you first meet? <laughs> you feel invisible. Yeah. I feel like this person is you you see them they don't see you so whether you've done this or not or this you know if this may not have happened yet but i feel like you are going to sort of watch them first and be in this in between state like a ghost it's like you're there but you're not there um but then you get that opportunity to connect and i do think it's through a friend or through some sort of work project okay let's see what your connection is emotionally together <laughs> success and you know funny because success is a work word and we have the three of pentacles so it's like you guys can build something together and there's joy here you know we have the sun card we have orange there's also a lot of physical you know physical connection this is like that um sacral energy there's a real strong passion between you um Let's get some messages for you about timing. I did feel that once you, you know, once this person releases and moves on, it's done because it's the good news is the 10 of swords is like once it's over, it's over. And this person is really letting go of long, long history. So it takes time. But I do think that we're really close. You're just you have to be kind of patient because you're in that in-between state, but it's not like forever in between. It's within a year, I would say. I thought within a month, but let's see what the Moon Oracle has for you about timing. What is the timing for this connection? <laughs> surrender to the divine hmm. divine timing it's like you're not getting your answer about a specific time um yeah it's divine timing but we do have the full moon as a clue here and you're I'm actually doing this recording very close to the full moon. So that's really interesting. If this happens quickly after you watch this video, please come back and write about it. Um, 
to me, I, I do feel that it's within a year. Um, I felt as fast as a month. Okay. So it's a month to 12 months. Okay. Um, let's get you some charms. Who is your next boyfriend? What messages do we have for number one? Okay, so you have the cat, and this is the wealthy cat. So I feel like this person's kind of, you know, um, has nice things, might wear expensive clothing or sneakers, or, you know, there's just something about their appearance that's noticeable. This is also Leo energy. There could be a Leo placement in here. We have the star. Now, that represents Aquarius, but for me, I feel like this person is kind of... of pretty big deal wherever they work um we have this which for me it's a deer um it's like wow you're kind of like when you first see them a deer in the headlights like stopped in your tracks um but i also for me personally this brings in messages of virgo okay so that's really lining up with that earth energy that i was feeling for this person and we have not one but two doves of peace with the message of you're co-creating with spirit so we have birds here birds could be significant for you as a message um but also this is about i feel like this closeness, birds of a feather flocking together. There's something about this person that is very much connected to your life, either it's work or friends. Um, it's something that you guys really share that you have similar. Okay. Um, so those are your messages about your next boyfriend. I hope you enjoyed your reading today. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're interested in a private reading, you can email me if you'd like to purchase my decks you can go and find all those links below don't forget you can become a paid member you can join by clicking the join button and the aphrodite circle gets you all the bonus um, videos and readings i do every month for 14.99 so that's all for today i'll talk to you soon okay number two let me just clean up and get ready for you um your reading is the pink and we're going to look at messages for you today about who's your next boyfriend. And let me just get myself organized here. Let's get your pile. Um, I'm going to start with the tarot. And if you watch the intro, I'm just going to pull straight from the deck. It's from the top. Okay. So let's see what messages we have for number two today about your next boyfriend. We have the Mother of Pentacles, Strength, Two of Cups, beautiful, ooh, I love it. We have the Fool reversed, oops, sorry, knocked it. We have the Nine of Wands under that strength, Fire under Fire. Ooh, and the magician. I'm loving this reading. Wow. Okay, let me just put number one over there. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, um, obviously I just love this because we are ending with the Two of Cups. So I just want to say overall, this person feels like someone who is going to be... Um, really compatible, someone that you connect with on like a fun level, a friend level, as well as a love level. Um, but let's start with this person over here in the past and like what they've kind of been all about. Okay, I'm going to turn these over for you. Um, they're both reversed. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Fool. And so this can indicate someone that may felt you know, they could have felt that they were taken advantage of. They could feel stuck in a situation in the past, or maybe they were in a relationship where there just wasn't, um, it wasn't balanced. It wasn't equal. It didn't feel fair. They could have lost a lot of money because of relationship issues, or they could have just themselves kind of 
stayed in something, even if it isn't a relationship, like a work situation or um, a family situation, something where they weren't um, being appreciated or where things weren't fair. Now, it could also be that they weren't being fair or they weren't, they were being selfish in the past. Um, but there seems to be a big shift in where they're now in this moment because here in the present we have the beautiful strength card with the nine of wands wow this is look at that lion coming towards you with the beautiful rose in their mouth it's like someone who's really powerful someone who's maybe taken a few knocks in the past or um, been either too selfish themselves or with someone who is too selfish in relationship energy and they're coming forward as this very balanced strong person who wants someone just like that like an equal partner this can be leo energy this is a very strong leo personality as well as we have the magician energy here of gemini and virgo but this is a manifester this is someone who's really got their act together they know what they want and they may have been through some battles in the past which is that nine of wands energy and that represents over here you know they may have felt like they were made a fool of literally um but now they're like you know what i want a partner who who is an equal, someone who is um, powerful like me, someone who's strong. This is a really strong, fiery personality. This could be a Leo Aries Sag, um, someone who has success, someone who's been through, like I said, some battles, but they've come out even stronger, okay? Um, and what I see in the future here with this person, which is so beautiful, this person's manifesting their true love. Okay, so if this if you're finding this person, you're going to be really happy. Okay, because you two are coming through as, you know, true partners, best friends, true love twin twin flame soulmate energy um powerful powerful connection with the magician underneath that it. it's like yes this is what i wanted this is the person i've dreamed of this person's going to view you as someone that is like their their dream person like literally like this is what i've manifested now there's a lot of cats here we have we have the strength and we have the leopard so i do think that there's a lot of leo in this person in this connection that also could be your energy too um sun moon and rising but definitely leo definitely a leader someone who's very powerful and strong someone that really has um, a lot of charisma someone who like you notice when they walk in the room you know it's like this is someone that stands out and I feel like before they were in a connection that just didn't allow them to be themselves. And they're looking for that, that real partner. And I feel like it's them looking like, this lion is out on the it's on the hunt but in a good way with coming with the rose not like coming with their teeth so i feel like this person is going to be romantic they're going to be very um powerful but humble okay it may take them a little while to convince you because <laughs> i'm getting with the nine of wands you know they may have to go through several connections before they get to you they could be online dating um and you could meet them actually through an online site um but they're going to take one look at you and think that's my person okay and you know like i said it might take a little while for them to get there to find you but it's like they find you that's what it feels like just a really great connection though. I mean, yeah, I feel like they are the ones that are going to initiate the connection. Okay, let's see what else we can find out about this person. We do have that infinity symbol on the lion's head. This could be a soulmate. This could be a karmic, you know, connection. This is this is definitely someone looking for forever. They've got forever on their mind. They've got they've got that in their forehead like I 
I don't know why I'm thinking of Harry Potter with the, with this, <laughs> the forehead, but that just popped into my head. I don't know who that message is for, but if you understand that. Okay, we have be Beaver Spirit. Bil lay a solid foundation, number six. Well, number six is the lovers. And as I said, this person's looking for a forever. So I'm getting confirmation here with the infinity symbol that this is someone that wants to build a life together. There could be a connection to them in building as well, like someone that's in the, you know, that field. They're definitely very practical. They're definitely looking to to create a home they're definitely very like nurturing and caring which is all that energy that i felt and it's almost like with this nine of wands it's a little different nine of wands and i really like this illustration for this reading because it's like steps building a steps like i said they're it may take a little while which is interesting because i feel like with you there's going to be a little convincing right the magician if we look at this cat over here this cat also has the infinity symbol right so this is this is possibly twin flame soulmate energy this is something that it feels very powerful but i feel like this person can't skip any steps with you that's the message that's coming through they have to build this connection step by step with you and that really connects with the beaver spirit message of um laying a solid foundation it feels like this person is going to have to do that with you grasshopper spirit take a leap of faith and look what the grasshopper has on their head a crown there's so much leo coming through yeah take a leap of faith it's funny because we have the fool reversed in this person's past which is being stuck not being able to take that leap of faith not having faith right um, this is a proud, serious lion that's driven, that's focused, that's moving forward step by step, that's found their true love and isn't going to let anything get between them. So this is going to require you to take a leap of faith with that Leo energy. Ooh, I love it. Okay, let's see if I can get a message for you about timing for this connection. What can we get about timing for number two? Ooh, emotions are running high, super moon. I would look towards the summer of this year. If you're watching this, this is timeless. Um, so I would think that any time when there are full moons in Leo, Leo time periods, times when there's a lot of, um, you know, when there's a blue moon, when there's a, a moon that's really close to the earth. Okay. For me, what just popped in was this summer because we have Venus in Leo. Um, so I'm feeling like that Leo energy is, is really going to be amped up around the time when you two connect. Okay. There's going to be a lot of fire and that's going to bring you together. Okay. It's going to move fast because we have emotions running high, this super moon energy, and we have that take a leap of faith. So it's like, this person's going to have to go step by step, but they're going to, they're going to have a lot of emotions. They're going to, they are going to show you very quickly. Now there, you may make them really take their time. You're going to kind of set, I think the message here is that you set that timetable. Okay. I want to see kind of what the emotional state is for this person right now. 
illumination. Yes, they're having their big moment. Look at all this beautiful, warm Leo energy, this fire sign energy. This person is going to see an opportunity. They're going to see you and they're going to walk through it. Um, this is in the present. So like I said, I do feel this is fairly soon for you. Um, I think that this person is really having a big moment right now, an opportunity. We also have the sun in this card, and we have the lion there, the Leo energy, the sun, the ruler of Leo. I'm getting a lot about this summer, you guys. So if you're watching this right after I post it, I would say really this summer could be great for you and for this person. Okay, yes, they're feeling frustration after you meet because of the, I feel like they have to go through the steps. I feel like it's you that's going to really make them prove themselves and they don't want to do that. They know who you are. They, they have these strong feelings for you. Let's see how you feel when you first meet them. Oh, you're going to say, yep, that's the person. I remember watching that reading, that video on YouTube, and that tarot reader said this person was coming in, and you're gonna, it's going to click when you meet them. You're going to know at a deep level that this is a really important connection. Okay, so trust your intuition is definitely the message when it comes to connecting with this person and this energy. Okay. So let me get you some charms. Let's see what messages the charms have for number two today. Okay. You have the little pug. You have a dog. Oh, man's best friend, the two of cups and the dog. So it's like this person is, is someone you can trust, someone who's loyal, a best friend. You have the tree, that growth, someone that wants to build something long term. There's some structure here. There could be, a, you know, moving in together. We do have sacrifice with the cross or spirituality, someone who's religious, okay? Um, we have the candy, which is like a treat, someone that loves to treat, someone that's into enjoying things and having fun. That also would go along with children and also Leo energy. We have the romantic energy of the Aphrodite shell of love, of true love. We have the angel protection wings, message of being protected, but also that it's this sort of divine connection. And you have the watch your health and someone's exhausted. Okay, so if this is you, this is a message from the universe saying, listen, take care of yourself, mind, body and spirit. Okay, because if you don't take care of yourself, you're not going to be able to do the things you want to do. So um, just kind of take that in. Okay, because whenever that charm comes up, I am supposed to deliver that message. So if that resonates, take that if it doesn't leave it. Um, but yeah, overall, it looks really beautiful. I'm excited for you. That's your reading today. I hope you enjoyed it. Write your comments below, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want more readings every month, you can become a member of the Aphrodite Circle. And that's $14.99 a month. You click the join button right here on YouTube and you'll get access to all my videos. Um, you can purchase my decks. The links are below. My Instagram's below. Um, um, if you want a private reading, email me. All that's below, okay? And I just did a monthly for February, so watch that. The links will be below, and um, I'm sending you so much love. I'll talk to you really soon. Okay, number three. Let me just clean up. Just finished number two's reading. And we are going to get messages for you about what's coming. I mean... <laughs> about your next boyfriend oh my god you guys somebody texted me really early this morning and i am 
a little tired, so a little loopy. But actually, I do really well, and my readings are some of my best readings. My best work comes when I'm a little tired, and it's funny. I once talked to someone about it, and they said, "You're more open. You have less of that, you know, kind of defense or the less of the stuff that we put up in everyday life. It's gone because you're just like fuzzy, and that way the messages come in. So anyway." let's get started here's number three here's your pile you chose the white heart and if you watch the intro i divided i i shuffled and divided the deck and um, i'm just pulling straight from the top because it's already been um, shuffled and cleared so let's take a look at your messages today about your next boyfriend so we have the king of cups the chariot wow do you have a cancer boyfriend or someone in your life that you want to date? Okay, we have the two of swords reversed. Getting clear. The ace of cups. Wow. Okay, a lot of water in here. The ten of wands reversed. And the wheel of, oh, not the wheel of fortune, the ace of pentacles reversed. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so... Let's take a look at these messages for you today. So let's start over here with the energy of this person in the past. Now, overall, I'm definitely picking up on a Cancer energy male. Um, but it could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio or Cancer Placement, Sun Moon Rising, um, or someone that is just nurturing, someone that is emotionally available, someone that is caring, someone that's a good dad or a good, you know, friend or... Um, you know, son or just someone who is there for other people is what's coming up. Okay. This is someone who's very open and receptive to love. This is someone who is very, very romantic. Okay. They are the kind of person that doesn't play games. They say, I love you when they love you. They don't wait. They don't say, oh, I'm not going to say it yet or, you know, any of that stuff. This person is open. They want love. They want a partner. They're really, really, really interested in sharing their life with someone. Um, and I feel like this is something that's really important to them. Having a relationship is really important. I don't know that they've ever had a solid long-term relationship yet because it feels like in the past that this is still open like this is something that they've always wanted and they haven't really had that one yet okay um i see this person as deciding it's like right now here we have it it's time it's time for me to really <laughs> It's time for me to find a partner who I can share my life with. This is about having a lot of burdens. This is about carrying everything on your own. This is about when it's reversed, releasing that. And so I see that they've made a decision recently to let go of whatever they were doing in terms of relationship and move towards something new. Now, it's interesting because here we have the pentacle around their neck. So I think that this could be a connection that happens because of work. Okay, um, I feel like this person is going to be um, really, really direct with you. Okay, um, I think that in the past, they, they may not have been with people or tried, you know, to, you know, connect with the right kind of person who want, was interested in long term, and they really want long, long term. Okay, um, it's like, I feel like I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking, this could be someone that has asked you out before. Okay, so think about that. That's not for everyone, but I am picking up on that energy right now. So if you have someone that is that kind of personality or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or someone um, who's really, really like, 
sensitive and you know it's funny because I say sensitive and I've known a lot of people that are these signs and they're not sensitive so it doesn't really apply to just based on your sun sign okay so know that it's moon it's you know astrology is the whole person it's all the planets not just the sun sign but I see this person is very successful at work I see them as someone who may even have a child already from a past relationship but they're not married okay um like i said it feels like they haven't found the one and this is something they're very driven towards right now right in the present it's like they're very direct look at that horse it's coming right at you it's like here i am and i have the ring with me i'm ready to get engaged it's like i feel like they may even ask you too soon and you may even say no the first time Okay, you might be a little overwhelmed by their affection or be overwhelmed by their directness. Okay, it's like a horse charging at you and you're like, ah, I can't take it. It's like, wait a minute, you said you wanted love, you wanted a relationship. Now this person's here and you're like, whoa, slow down. <laughs> it's like, you know, sometimes we do that and that's okay. It's, it's fine. But I do feel like this person may ask you once or maybe even ask you to marry them like you know say you're the one i want to marry on the first date and it's like oh my god this is way too much um but it feels really good i mean i feel like with the ace of cups this is an opportunity for a really beautiful connection so i think you're gonna like this person um there's potent they are gonna really really like you i just don't know if you'll go forward with it because you may not be ready to commit okay if that makes sense um, but I think they're going to be crazy about you and I think there's real potential, but it's really up to you. Okay. But let's see what else we can get about this person. Number three, who is this King of Cups? We have Canary Spirit, sing your own song. <laughs> yeah there could be something that it's like this part over here that as i said it's really going to be up to you i feel like they may be they could even be too much for you too romantic too driven you know too uh, aggressive with their feelings initially okay um, they are someone that's a little offbeat or different. Um, some, they could even be a musician. Um, it's, I don't know why this is coming to mind, but when was this? Oh my God. I'm trying to think of what show this was. Um, it may have even been like the office or Mindy project. I don't remember. It's an older show. And it is, it's like this guy was going to, he was really into this girl and he wanted to sing her song, play it on his guitar. He wrote her a song and it really turned her off. It's like for a lot of people that would be like, oh my God, you wrote a romantic song about me. Um, but there's something that this person does that you're just like, um, I'm not sure. But they are really into you, which is funny. Fox spirit, think on your feet. Yeah, number 27. It's. I'm telling you, this person's going to catch you off guard because like I said, I feel like they're so direct and they're so moving so fast and charging at you that there's something that you're just going to have to like, you're going to have to make a decision kind of quick because they're going to be really sure. That's what I'm getting. Let's see what we get about timing of this connection for number three. What is the timing? The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Okay, definitely we have the chariot here gaining momentum. A time for healing, balsamic moon. Pull one more. Take time to breathe out. Yeah. 
Okay, so I think I think this person's going to have to make a couple of attempts to ask you out before you actually spend time with them. I feel like they there's the timing is off for the two of you. There's something going on with you or with them where there's a little bit of healing. I feel like it's you. I feel like you need a little bit more time than this person's willing to give you, but they are going to kind of rush in. Okay, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, it doesn't apply to you. Don't take that message. Um, but that's that's what I'm getting. Let me just, I'm going to roll this one. I just want to ask. Yeah, okay. Neptune. So that's Pisces energy right there, Neptune. There could be a Pisces involved or there could be dr drinking. There could be um, something having to do with, it's almost, like I said, Neptune's the higher vibration of Venus. Sometimes it can be too much, too romantic. I don't know if this applies to you or if it's the other way around, but I feel like this is, if this is you and you're represented by the King of Cups, it's almost like you have this, um, you have this very romantic idea of the way things are going to be and the, and whoever else is in this connection is much more practical Okay, and they may have been hurt and they may need a little time before they can kind of accept this, if that makes sense. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. Let's do, let's see, let's see what the emotional stuff is here with this connection for you, number three. I'm going to first start with this person coming in, the King of Cups. What's going on with them emotionally? Ah, uh, it's them that's in a lot of pain, and that's what con that's what concerns you. Okay, that's what this is. Take time for healing, a time to breathe out. So you may want to slow things down. Somebody in this connection is in a little bit of pain. Um, that's what that Neptune is. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see what the energy of the partner is. I'm going to say you, but let's see if it's, if you relate more to the pain part, you listen the other way, you know, you just insert whatever, either you or them. Okay. I'm going to say for you, let's see how you're going to feel when you meet this person. Ah, oh, so you do trust them. You're just concerned about something having to do with the over the too much. It's a little too much for you to handle. Why is that? Because it says you trust them. You need space. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. That's exactly what I said. Okay. So you're going to need a little space. It doesn't mean it won't last forever. It just means that you are the type of person or in this connection, you're going to feel the need to have a little space. So you just set up boundaries and that's great. Okay. That answers my question perfectly. Okay. Now I'm going to pull some charms about this connection for number three. Let's see what messages we have for you. Okay, so you want freedom or someone wants freedom and I'm kind of feeling like that's that space. Um, you might have a lot of independence. You might be somebody who just needs private time. Um, look at this. We have the magician. We have the magician's wand here. Um, this is really a you know, a message about Virgo and Gemini energy, but also about manifesting, um, something that feels magical. Um, that could be it. It could feel magical. And sometimes when things are like that, we don't trust it always. And so maybe your message of trust is the universe letting you know that you can trust this. Okay. We have a little flower. I feel like this person could be someone that brings flowers, is romantic, big open heart. This is, you know, divine timing, synchronicities, the dragonfly sewing this could be someone that's in design or someone that takes their time puts things together um 
You might, this could also be about putting something back together, okay? We have the sheep, could be the year of the sheep or dreamy. The sheep could also connect to that Neptune message that you had. Um, Pisces energy, romance, someone who's a dreamer. I heart softball, so there's an athlete in here. There could be a connection to playing a sport or coaching. And we have the feather, okay? So some of you may see feathers as messages. Um, we also had the canary spirit sing your own song. So um, as I said, there could be something that this person is involved in music or does something. I don't know why that story about the guitar came up, but take that if it works, leave it if it doesn't. Um, this is the message for you today about your next boyfriend. So this was really interesting. I can't wait to hear your comments. Write them below. If you're connecting, don't forget to subscribe. Um, share, do all that good stuff. If you'd like a private reading, you can email me. Those links are below. You can purchase my decks. I also do bonus readings every month for members. Click the join button, become the uh, part of the Aphrodite circle for $14.99 a month, and you will get all the bonus content. And I just did a monthly for February by Zodiac Sign. So check that out. There are two um, readings. One is the first half of the Zodiac. The second half is another. I'll have those links in the description box. Um, listen to your Zodiac sign as well as Sun, Moon, Rising, okay? Because that way you'll get a full picture. I am sending you so much love. I'll talk to you soon.